Anyway, we totally forgot to mention one other casualty of uh of us um playing through Higarashi. Yeah, what was that? Uh we both started learning how to play mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> We did, and I'm not, and I'm not just saying like we've made a passing. No, we we've we've been playing on an app called what is it? Kimono Mahjong. Yes, which has taught us how to play mahjong, uh, Japanese mahjong. Yeah, right? uh, and I have committed to learning how to play it, and have gotten good enough where I'm sharking CPUs now. <laughs> I still suck, and I started first. <laughs> I got my first Yakuman, which made me feel really. You did? What one did you get? I, I showed it to you. I was so proud. Wait, you totally did. I totally. It was the 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 big three dragons. Yeah, you got the big three dragons. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was I was so proud of myself. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, that's directly an, another th- another way in which Ro Seven has irrevocably changed my life. <laughs> Look forward to the inevitable mahjong video on the channel because it 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 will happen. I wonder why afternoons always make you feel sleepy like this. Uh, I have no idea. Me unspoken a voice that went so far as to make whoever heard it lethargic. That went so far as to do make. Look more like so good ass. <laughs> oh, you want a medical explanation for sleepiness? I could say it, but it just make you more sleepy. Uh, spare me. <laughs> it was almost three o'clock. Sixth period was almost over. By the way, Sadako and everyone else in the lower grades ended their school day after fifth period. So they're probably running around in the schoolyard right now. That's important to know that they end their school days at different times because they all meet up after school. But that means that Sadako and Rika are just kind of. Waiting around for a full extra period. Unattended child. Unattended child. There's a lot of that going around, honey. I could hear their joy-filled voices coming from there right now. Oh, what I would give to be able to join them. Mi-chan, you're the class representative, so you have to try harder. No going to sleep. Are you kidding me? Really warm summer afternoon is the perfect time for naps, and it's criminal. <laughs> it's criminal to have children in school at that point. You see, rather than the ch- class representative, I'd rather be the president of the boxing club. They get to sleep a lot. This is painfully <laughs> common knowledge in the boxing world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what makes you think that? At the boxing gym, they're always hitting the sack. Get it? Oh. Bam. The teacher cracked as she hit the back of me on head with the corner of a textbook. Oh, hey. What? Is that the teacher? Yeah. What? The teacher has a sprite? Yeah. I think it's Chie Sensei. I forget her name. Oh, my God. The teacher's a character. Oh, shit. Well, uh, oh, that's all for me. <laughs> the voice has already been established. We can't change it. <laughs> that's that's why I was <laughs> mentioning the voice when you first brought it up. So, oh, poor they, teacher. They get the weird Charlie Brown half thing. Oh, it's all for me. I'll leave it at that for today. <laughs> Representative, please direct the class. <laughs> Everybody stand up. Add attention. Mion, who had been half asleep, became lively again the moment she heard class was over. Must be delightful to be that shrewd. I got to order people around. This is great. I'm fully awake again. <laughs> Homeroom was done after the lower grades had finished their lessons, so we were free to go. It was one of the odd rules we had as a mixed grade school. Homeroom was done after the lower grades. Oh, so normally there's an end of day homeroom, but they do that when the lower grades leave. Mm-hmm. Meaning they just have an extra period of class work and then they just get to go. Yeah. When the new class was over, Sadako and Rika Chan returned to the classroom. Good work today. <laughs> oh wait, no, no. Oh, I see. I got her back. You're right. Good work today. All right. It's time for happy fun club activities. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What should we do today? Hey, Mi-chan, why don't we continue what we started yesterday? Huh? Yes, we should do that! To have it end like that when things were getting good, I won't accept it! Now, now, I know how you feel, but let's save that for another time. 
Something like that shouldn't be done somewhere dinky, like a classroom after a school, but a grander stage. Oh, it's not dinky. I like it here. There are people here, <laughs> unlike where I live at home. <laughs> <laughs> there are no adults in my life, and I'm deeply broken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done whenever, but some of the younger guy. Oh. Yeah. But some of the younger guys said they'd watch me in the finals, so, uh... Let me know ahead of time. Wow, Keiichi kun, you're amazing. There's people cheering you on. Cheering you on. I wonder if there's anybody cheering on Rena. I couldn't help but watch as Rena entered her pining maiden mode. I'm not gonna pull any punches, but I'll pray for your victory, Rena. With a saccharine Keiichi brand smile, I ruffled Rena's hair roughly. Oh, ah, K -K Keiichi kun, what are you? Uh. Rena turned bright red and short-circuited, smoke billowing from both her ears. Gazing into her eyes, a strange sense, a strange scene to be holding hands with Rena, skipping through a flower bed, was reflected there. Uh, even if it was in someone else's imagination, it was terribly troubling. Meet Keiichi, the Rena killer. You're just doing this on purpose now, aren't you? Absolutely. You are doing this 100% on purpose. You and your... Ooh, what do those eyes know? <laughs> When you get I'm staring straight through the fourth wall. I was going to say, I feel like Rika's looking, like, at me. <laughs> at me, SK Relatable, playing this video game. <laughs> when Rika-chan said that, everyone burst out laughing at once. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times. Yeah. Funny stuff. <laughs> that Rena is a Sadako and Rika-chan killer, though. What? Wait, what? If that really is like a coded nod to, did Rena kill Sadako and Rika in the last one? Is that why they'd stop showing up halfway through? <laughs> <laughs> like I did notice partway through that they stopped showing up, but like I thought it was just because like they, they weren't really involved with this part that was going on here. Is <laughs> you can't just say that R O seven? Is is that meant to be like a sly joke or a sly nod that? That was what was happened? <laughs> eh? What? What do you mean? <laughs> That's what I mean. Ugh. Maybe be true that we can't get a win against Rena, but we won't lose to Keiichi. What would that even add? Why would why is that even being brought up? Okay, it, it's a joke. It's it, it's jo it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it doesn't have to mean anything. It might, but it doesn't have to. It can just be. You had no reason to suspect Rika and Sadako were dead during the last arc. Why would you start now? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is becoming a pretty interesting relationship map. Our strengths kind of interact like in rock, paper, scissors, but that doesn't include Mion, does it? Of course not. It doesn't matter who it is. I won't lose. Mion in rock, paper, scissors, I'm handgun. <laughs> Mion leered with the gaze befitting of a club president. No, befitting of an empress. The mood in the room became more lively. It was a good moment as any to get started. Well now, let's get started nice and easy. What? Who are you? What have you done with Mion? Yeah, so then, Michan, what shall we do today? Today! Mion let out a small interjection as she rummaged through the so-called club locker. Every time I look, there's always a ton of things crammed in there. Everything that's jammed in that locker is a game of some kind, you know? On top of that, things used for penalty games like cat ears and collars were kept in there. The capacity of that thing is unfathomable. She just found a way to, like, standardize hammer space. <laughs> that locker, maybe it actually extended through the wall into the fourth dimension. That's my theory, anyways. <laughs> if not that, then how else could you explain how someone could pull out item after item? After Mion touched her hand to her chin briefly and thought, she turned around without pulling out any games. Why don't we try and keep it a bit simple today? Playing games that require lots of pieces all the time can be a little bland, right? See, that's weird because that's mostly what they did during the last arc. Was almost entirely games that didn't require a lot of pieces. Like, Cluedo being the notable exception. Mm. But a, a lot of the games they were playing were like just card games or other, other kinds of things that can be done with very little. Hmm. It doesn't matter what game it is. If everybody plays together, we can have fun. That's all Rika wants, just everyone to have fun. 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. Renner and I have both expressed our agreement. I feel the same way. With this group, there's no doubt even if we were pulling weeds from the school grounds, it would be fun. That would also help... Pulling weeds from the school grounds also helps rank up your, um, riding ability, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Please don't eat the weeds. <laughs> I want to be fun for me. I mean, pulling weeds or whatever. Oh, that's right, isn't it? By the way, Zadiko, could you stop reading people's minds by looking at their fucking expressions? Whatever you're thinking is always written all over your face. I know I know we've established that, but it seems strangely literal. Like, I don't know what to make of that. You have the option of putting down the marker and not writing it on there. Ah! <laughs> it really is weird how that they describe it that way, and it's like... It's not just like, oh, we can tell he's angry. It's like, oh, we can tell exactly what you were thinking about in your internal monologue. So I always know right away. I've always been told that, but ever since I transferred, it seems like it's been especially bad. I need to develop a poker face or I could be in for a rough time. P poker face. P -p poker face. All right. Everybody pay attention. Finally, more games. I'm going to explain the rules. We all immediately cut the idle chatter and put on stern expressions. In no time at all, everyone's gaze focused like a tiger on a sh or a shark, listening intently. Like a land shark. Like a land shark. I, I was... I loved my idea of that so much more. Neon definitely has a pet land shark. I, I just... I... It legitimately did not register the other meaning to me for so long. <laughs> but, like... A land shark. It's a shark you can keep on land. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. From the point where the rules are explained, the match has already begun. Today's game is probably better known as a party game. It's called Sympathy. Has anybody heard of it before? Sympathy means to share someone's feelings, right? Maybe I might know this. Me, chan maybe it's the game where we choose a topic and everybody oh. writes down the first word that comes to mind. And the more people who share the same answers, the more points are awarded. In that case, Rena knows about it. Well, thank you for that expository <laughs> description, Rena. I remember. I recall playing a game like that in grade school while we were on the bus during a field trip. I am not familiar with this game. I would like an explanation. First of all, we have the leader choose a topic. For example, if they choose dessert, Oh, <laughs> Sadako chan, when someone says dessert, what's the first thing you think of? Huh? Oh, um. Let's see here. Pudding or something? Pudding's great. Everyone loves pudding. Okay, in that case, Sadako, you would write down pudding on your memo pad. Then everybody reveals their answer at the same time. If there's two or more people who wrote down pudding, they get points. The more people who write down the same answer, the more points are awarded. Oh. The more people who write down the same answer, the more points are awarded. So if everybody writes down the same answer, that's a max of five points. Neat. In other words, the trick is to think so that what you write down is the same answer as everybody else. It was exactly as Rika-chan said. The point of this game was to think it away so that you have the same answer as everyone else. For example, even if you heard the word dessert and immediately thought of a strawberry sundae, if your answer doesn't match up with anyone else, you don't get any points. So you've got to hold off on that answer and change the one that seems like everyone else will choose. So it's not just what you think of first, it's what you think everyone else will think of first. <laughs> the key comes not what you think yourself, but being... Okay. Sorry. But being able to predict what everyone else will answer. It's a very high intellectual game. High level. Me, for Sadako's sake, let's try practicing for one round. Okay. For this round, seeing as I'm club president, the leader will be me, alright? The topic can be something random. Taking out her literature textbook, she began flipping to a random page. All right, then this is the only practice round. The first topic is shaved ice. <laughs> She's laughing to her own. <laughs> when you say shaved ice, there's only one answer, isn't there? Among the standard flavors of shaved ice, there's strawberry melon and blue Hawaii. Most popular amongst those would be obviously melon. Everyone wrote down an answer, then everybody show theirs at the same time, okay? All right. Do we want to give our answers first? I definitely would have said Blue Hawaii. I, w I was going to say water. 
Oh, shaved water. No, just, I'd like some shaved water. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just shaving my water. <laughs> I don't want, I don't like the water when it's hairy. <laughs> I would like my water shaved, please. Oh. Strawberry. Wasn't melon, um. Gagey? Yeah. Melon. Ujigin Toki. Strawberry. Strawberry. What? I'm the only one with melon? You guys! Go, don't go do something because all on Dane is picking strawberry as the standard. Hey, Renna, would you actually order strawberry shaved ice? First thing that always sells out at summer festivals is melon, isn't it? Renna also likes melon flavor, but really, it's all about the strawberry, right? Right? Okay, Chan, if I was to pick, I would actually choose melon. But you see, this is a word association game. If somebody says shaved ice, the first thing you think of is strawberry. Alright, so Mion is on the left. Okay. Okay. Who the fuck said Uji Gintoki and what does that so mean? So that would be Sadako who said that one. I have to look up what the heck that is. <laughs> That is a fun word, is what that is. Um, Ujigin Toki. Matcha flavored shaved ice. Oh! It is shaved ice drizzled with matcha syrup and topped with red bean paste. That actually sounds real good. I would like to eat that. That sounds delicious, actually. Okay, so the order then was. So the order then was Mion, Keichi, Sadako, Rena, and Rika. Yeah. I'm still not entirely convinced, but in any case, it's this type of game. Rika, what exactly did you write? Is that a type of shaved ice? Oh no, Rika wrote Ujigin Toki. Okay. Wait, so that's not even in any kind of order then. Uh, never mind. We're just going to guess. It's Ujigin Toki. It's incredibly delicious, you know? Well, it might be delicious, sure, but it's not exactly run of the mill. No, it's a pretty refined choice. Damn, now I really want that. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do too, actually. Sadako. A refined choice for a refined old lady. It's <laughs> <laughs> one of our commenters in the last series. <laughs> Remember, Rika, Rika's gender isn't AFAB, it's AFBK. Assigned <laughs> female by Keiji. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sadako, did this help you get a good idea? There were three people who wrote down strawberry, so those people got three points. We compete to see who can get the most. Yeah, yeah! I got it! More importantly, Mion-san, what should we do about today's penalty game? Uh, there's going to be one after all. What will it be? What will it be? Hmm, what should it be? Keichan, you have a suggestion? Well, for the penalty game? Uh, well, when I was in... When I was in elementary school, there was a penalty game. Yeah, it can only be that. Schlepping! In other words, that thing where the loser has to carry around everybody else's baggage. It happened often to the boys. Elementary school kids walking around completely covered in backpacks. You see it a lot. But how will we do that? Sarako-chan and Rika-chan's houses are the complete opposite direction from ours. Keep mentioning their houses! I... Was I really that far off base? I, it's got to be important that the game is calling attention to it twice like this, right? They're like, no, you thought, but... There's got to be a reason it's calling attention to it now. Like, I guess... I... I must have been wrong, but, like, then who is she living with? It's a mystery. I thought, like, her and Rika were taking care of one another, and that's fine, because Rika's an adult, basically. She's the she's the old lady in the <laughs> <laughs> despite she's also the, being like eight eight. She's the mature right, she's she's the mature one in the group. I have no problem believing that. But oh man, okay. Then who is she living with? Then how about the loser carries just the winner's stuff to their house? Getting everybody's stuff to their house would involve covering a pretty sizable distance. Wait. Is this... somehow... 
a timeline where the curse happens differently? I don't know. Or not at all? Are the Hojos and the Ferudes still alive? Only one way to find and out. If that's the case... Maybe we made it to the good timeline. Maybe everything's fine. There were... Okay. Because there were two deaths that had yet to happen. The one this year and the one the year after it. The one in 1983 and the one in 1984. On, on my theory. Mm -hmm. See episode one. I talked a long time about it. Um, so maybe this is a timeline where the first four victims were different? Hmm. Because if, if they're still talking about Sadako-chan having a house, she, and it's not, it's here in this in Hinamizawa and not the town over with her with her aunt and uncle that means the Hojos are still alive or Sadako's a real estate investor or Sadako's a real estate investor and Rika-chan's house meaning the Furudes are still alive so okay on my old theory then that means the other four people that the uh, four other people have died in the curse already that would be. They would have been Tomatake. Yeah. Would be one of them. Um, on my theory, Kimiyoshi would have been one of them. Yeah. The original conspirator, who we still don't know the name or identity of, and um, Sadako's step on. Does the past go. So. I, I could. I, I, I'll admit, I could be barking up the entirely wrong tree here, but th it seems like. If we read in a little bit to what that the fact Sadako Chan Rika Chan still have homes to go ha to go home to says, it might be the case that this is a different version of 1983, where the first four victims of the curse were different. Could be that. I'm gonna call my shot right here. That that that's what I, that that that's my initial. Well, I don't know if I'm calling my shot, but like it's my guess for like what that means. Huh. All right. Let, let's. Sorry, I've held up. No, you know what? I'm not sorry. This is what you. Yeah. We all want yeah, this, this is, part. This of is, it. What we're this here is the for. part you want. <laughs> and the game's made a point of bringing it up twice, so it clearly wants us to know it. Oh yeah, just that much might be all right. Although, because uh, Rika Chan, the Fur Days lived at the temple, as far as we know. Did we know that? I don't think or we did actually... we just assume that? I think I just kind of assumed that. And I guess Sadako-chan and Rika's house is a complete opposite direction from ours. Are we meant to take that as Sadako-chan is... We do know some kids from Okonomiya commute out here mm -hmm. for school. I guess we should wait to... I guess I should wait, because maybe, maybe Sadako's living with her aunt still. Aunt and uncle. Could be. Yeah. I, I, sh I, sh I should hedge there. And maybe the Furudes live out of town, but the shrine they work at is the Hinamizawa. We don't actually know for sure. Okay. But either way, I think I think my analysis of that still stands. Uh, it, so it'd be either the, her Hojo's died already, or her aunt died already, but not both. Okay. Well, yeah, just that much. Must be right. <laughs> Might be all right. Somehow today's penalty game is pretty simple. I don't take him at this level. It wouldn't even be fun to make Keishi san do it. Then, shall we raise the stakes a bit? Not just playing Porter. Ta da! How about we have someone schlep stuff around dressed in this? Why a meat outfit of all things? What is it with you and seeing me cross dress? <laughs> I know, right? There's so much to unpack there. You have to understand that. <sighs> it's it's cute and all, but no way. Wait, she's it's cute, but no. <gasps> Even Rena has limits. But you, wait, you're all vastly different sizes. <laughs> Never mind. But you see, you see, what do we do if Keiji-san loses? We don't have a size that fits him. Oh, I didn't let that little detail get by. I have a nice extra large size one prepared just for Kei-chan. So, 
Kate Sean, are you ready? Does your... <laughs> is it a cosplay shop? Did your school outfits come from a cosplay shop, <laughs> Mion? I've been, av- I've been avoiding coming to that conclusion because I'm like, I don't want to think that's the case. But did all these outfits come from a cosplay shop, Mion? Is that the kind of place that, that your that your relative works at? It'd be um, pretty funny. It would be really funny if the fact, the reason that all these outfits were so weird and wild is because they are cosplay. They're not They're not actual Seifuku. They're cosplay Seifuku. <laughs> oh, that makes so much sense. I I came to, the, I like thought about that back during chapter one and I'm like, no, that's, that's not, that's not going to be the thing, is it? No, there's no way. But then where else does Mion get these out- maid outfits from, huh? <laughs> I'm on to you. Also, why did you buy it in advance? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, Sean, are you ready? I'm going to have you walk around outside dressed up as a maid. From the headbands to the garter belt, to even the underwear, I've got it all prepared for you. This is just insane. Why do you have every possible size of that thing in that locker? What the hell? I have normal hobbies. <laughs> when did you get into Force Fem? <laughs> this is bad, Keiji I, 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 oh, I have this whole complicated relation with this gender thing, okay? And I'm I've noticed. trying to I'm trying to work through it. By taking it out on me? It's working so far. <laughs> I think I might be the only one that has a normal relationship with my gender so far. (laughs) Uh, Somehow it's become a situation where only my failure results in an overly cruel price to pay. What if I make a mistake and lose? I wouldn't be able to walk around in broad daylight anymore. And over here, trans Rena theory is like, (laughs) Rena's like, oh, is that how you feel about that? (laughs) Oh, ma'am, about that Maimara boy. Did you hear about him? Do you think it's a pension for cross-dressing? Oh, my, really? That'd be so embarrassing, you know. Oh. <laughs> and Ren is like, yeah, how terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too harsh. That's just incredibly brutal. If we're to return to this penalty to some semblance of normalcy, now is the only time. Everyone, I think we should refrain from this unwholesome penalty game. Why, on the way back home from school, do we have to be accompanied by a girl wearing a maid uniform and carrying our baggage? Having them say master while dragging them around the village in such an embarrassing outfit. Oh, wait, why am I panting? What is this? This feeling welling up inside me. <laughs> Rena's the- See? Because she's like, hey, 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 don't make a punishment out of my gender <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I'm still, we, again, nothing contradicting trans Rena theory. <laughs> nothing contradicting it. Hey, let's just make it a normal penalty game. Wait, Keiichi Kun has frozen stiff. Foom! Burning with passion, I firmly placed my hands on Rena's shoulders. Rena, there is no problem with the penalty game. I just have to win. That's right, everyone. I turned to everyone with an idiotic grin, my pearly whites flashing with a brilliant gleam. Oh, Kate-chan, you've come around to the idea, eh? No matter what the penalty game is, there's no reason to be afraid. You just have to win, right, everyone? Yeah, yeah! 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 From me on to Rika, everyone energetically thrust their fists up high. Again, only Rena seemed somewhat undecided, standing there looking flustered. She's a little bit slow, isn't she? If she wins even for Rena, it's quite a delectable opportunity. Hey, Rena, don't you see this as a pretty big opportunity? We got Chandra Sonic Chan in a maid outfit coming right to your doorstep. This is a historically great chance, isn't it? Sploosh. Rena began spouting a fountain of blood from her nose. The look in her eyes completely changed. She shifted to Kiyut mode. I was waiting for this, Rena. That look in her eyes. I was waiting for this, Rena, and not the other one. <laughs> and not they the, come in six not, packs. Not, not, <laughs> Again, and not not the other one. The oh, uh, because <laughs> uh, you know there's the people and people that look like people. This game's got a lot of it going on. Ugh. Uh, to my doorstep, 
It's not like Kei, Chikun, or Michan wouldn't be good too. <laughs> All right, it looks like everybody's prepared themselves. Get your memo pads ready. First question. Ready. Get ready, comment section, to play along with us. <laughs> We're, we're going to play, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mion opened up her textbook to a random page and read out a word that caught her eye. The first topic is summer break. Vacation. My brain went blank. Literally nothing? The game is to write down a word and you turned in a piece of paper with nothing on it? I didn't know we were starting. <laughs> okay, just pick one. Bicycle. All right, sure. This is yet another quite abstract keyword. Well then, let's not worry about it too much and start with something like this. Everybody good? Time to show them. Ready, go. On Mion's signal, everyone simultaneously held up what they wrote. Let's see, what did everyone write? <laughs> summer festival, summer festival, fireworks, mosquito coils. Oh, Renna and I have the same answer. All right, two points. Wait, that was four answers. But Sadoko's fireworks was pretty good, too. Rika's mosquito coil was a very nice <laughs> seasonal choice as well. All the choices are quite invigorating. Why did no one recognize Keiichi's answer? What did he put up? I don't know. That's almost summer break, isn't it? I wonder how we'll spend it this year. Invigorating words that invoke the image of summer break. Certainly things that enrich the soul. As everyone approaches the soon-to-come summer break. A plethora of dreams should be etched upon their thoughts. By the way, Keiji san, what did you answer? Hurry up and show us! Oh, I, uh, I didn't really write anything down that great. No, no, no. Showing us is part of the rules. Now, come on. Oh, stop it. Don't, don't, don't look. Homework. Another little insight into how Keiichi's school life was before coming to Hidemizawa. <laughs> Remember about how he, he doesn't have fond memories of that time and like thinking of not, not having friends, but having rivals, descriptions of cram school and stuff. Mm -hmm. There really is something there that, because it sounds like he was being set up to be like, like really pushed uh, nose to the grindstone to get to a good school and then something changed to make him end up here. No one could really follow up that response. It was as if my impertinent answer had somehow sullied the wonderful dreams of the coming summer break. Keiichi-kun summer breaks were never fun, were they? It's all right. Let's spend the summer this year with everybody. We won't leave you by your lonesome. Rika-chan gently patted my head. Thank you, honey. What exactly did summer break mean to me? Summer courses... Observing sunflowers, practice exams, special summer focus seminars. I know nothing of hot summers. Because I've always been in an air-conditioned cram school. Ugh, the tears they... Hey, Chan's summer breaks were always devoid of hopes and dreams, weren't they? Uh, don't look at me with such pity to your eyes! Don't look at me! <laughs> this game called Sympathy may be more terrifying than I could ever imagine. Well, anywho... Rena and I got two points each. Let's keep going. Next is... Fish. All right, you ready? Uh, no. One second. One second. I'm having trouble. You know how... You know how there's the thing where you say, don't think of a pink elephant, and then you immediately think of a pink elephant? I have the opposite sure. of that, where you tell me, think of a fish, and then my brain blanks, and I forget the names of every fish, and the only thing I can remember is... That one scene from the anime that I'm forgetting the name of. It's not about fish. Girls Last Tour. There's a fish in that one. That's not my answer, though. My answer is bass. Oh, I was going to say tuna. Okay. Because, you know, you can tune a piano. Ha! Huh. But you can't tune a fish! <gasps> so it's fish. Come to think about it, I haven't eaten sushi in a while. By the way, rather than le lean tuna, I'm quite the connoisseur on things like flounder. wonder who I'll match with this answer. Because for a Japanese person, anyone would think of this. All right, everybody. This time, we'll start from mine. Ready, go. Sushi. How about that for an answer? When you see a lively fish, do you want to steam it or grill it? They would have fresh sashimi is the epitome of cuisine. 
Rather than white sashimi, however, I chose the more amiable term in sushi. My cunning ploy. Contrary to my intrepid resolve in my reply, everyone's expression was listless. Oh, that's right. When you say fish, I see. Sushi is tasty, isn't it? What? Stop talking to me in that consoling tone. Stop it. Well then, should the rest of us show our answers? Ready, go. So it was Katie who said he was going to start. Yeah. Okay. Dolphin, whale, aquarium, aquarium. Because I have the same answer. That's two points. Rena picked whale, eh? I thought about that too, but I ended up picking dolphin. Ah, oh, really? Rena wanted to write dolphin at first, but Rena didn't think anybody else would write it. Mmm. Oh, what? Ah! Either one of them is very cute and not a fish. <laughs> Everyone excluding me stopped and stared blankly as their thoughts drifted over the horizon. Seems as if they can hear the roar of the open sea from over there. So this is more, this chapter seems to be more about creating that divide between Keiichi's upbringing and the upbringing of everyone else in the rural area, huh? Hmm. Really? You know, those pillars of the community, the Ryugus. The Ryugu family that definitely exists. <laughs> Ryugu truther. <laughs> it's all right there in the fucking in the fucking cicada papers. <laughs> that means everyone has two points. Well, everyone but Keiichi san. Keiichi kun's answers were worth zero points, but Rana thinks they were very unique and interesting. Interesting. To immediately think of food when you hear the word fish, Keichan, you should really be ashamed of how destitute your soul is, huh? What? Don't say something like my soul is destitute! Besides, what's this Mion and Rena's answers anyways? Those aren't even fish, those are mammals! Objection overruled. <laughs> Next. <laughs> what kind of a horror game is this today? The games pile on and on, and it seems as if I will be further exposed as a petty human being. I am the only one who still hasn't earned any points! Want to get at least one point in the next round? You can only get at least one point. What? You, no, you can't. You can only get at least two points. Yeah. All right. The next topic is Sakura. Ready? One, two, three. Hinamoto. <laughs> what? Hinamoto. Hinamoto? What's that? Isn't, isn't Sakura Hinamoto a character? Isn't that? Oh, is it? I don't. Sakura Hinamoto. Isn't it? From what? Why don't I recognize the name? Did I? Isn't it? Isn't it? It isn't. It isn't. It's nothing. No, Minamoto. Sakura. That's a different name. Yeah, I was thinking Sakura Minamoto. Oh! From Zombieland Saga! Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. So you <laughs> Fair enough. This time I'll do it. Keep your cool, KG Mybra. Don't think what you would normally think. Everyone else here is a girl. Stop thinking like a man. I don't think that that's the problem. I think it's the 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 city versus rural divide, right? <laughs> which is which was a theme a through line brought up in the first chapter. It was. If you write down Sakura Mochi, you'll only be repeating the tragedies of the past. Throw away that gastrocentric male sensibility. For now, think of yourself as a girl. You are a girl. You are a girl. I am a girl. Woo! You are a girl now. You are a girl. He's getting ready. He's getting you know ready what? for the outfit. He is. You, you know what? Egg Keiji theory. <laughs> 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 what was that piece of fan art we saw going around? It was. Hey guys, what do you say? All right, girls and gays. Can we include Keiji in that too? <laughs> <laughs> you know, girls and gays and Keiichi also. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are a girl. You are a girl. I am a girl. Everybody finished writing. Let's do it. Keiichi-san, if you don't start getting points right now, won't it be a bit dangerous? <laughs> this time it's perfect. I completely suppressed my own instincts. This time I will have a match. I will make it match. Keiichi-kun, you seem pretty confident about this one. You see, this time, Rena thought like a boy so I could match up with your answer. 
Hashtag trans runner theory. <laughs> Sakura mochi. I like them too. I wrote it down. Rena and Rika giggled together. No! That was not the time to think with your stomach! Well then, did Keiji san write the same answer as me? I put down Hanami. That's right. When you say Sakura, it just has to be Hanami, yeah? I wrote that down too. Miyono Sadako's response was Hanami! Hanami? Seriously? That's the kind of event where old geezers getting drunk and doing all sorts of depraved things is the standard, though, isn't it? Why, of all times, did you just decide to abandon answering from a girl's point of view? Well then, Kate Sean, what sort of girly response did you write down? Is this the gender chapter? <laughs> Are we doing the gender chapter? <laughs> Straight up. Like I I I I know I was making a, like I, I I know I was saying things about it, but are we doing the gender chapter? Is that? <laughs> it's nothing. Let's move on to the next topic. Moving on. Ah! Before I knew it, Rika John had circled behind me and was intently reading the memo I had hidden behind my back. Cardmaster Sakura is written down here. <laughs> oh, anachronistic anime. It became dead quiet. The abrupt silence enveloped the room. It would be fine if somebody at least laughed at me or played it off as something dumb, but no one even flinched. The feeling in the pit of my stomach reached critical mass, causing my once blood-drained face to flush with a sudden wave of heat. Sakura can only mean Cardmaster Sakura, can't it? It's that super popular anime that's broadcast every week on the government-run networks. It's broken through to every demographic from little girls to grown men. You've seen it, haven't you? You've definitely seen it. Even I've seen it. Um, yeah, even without the forced explanation I know about it. It's that thingy where she fights in a different costume every week, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Yep, yep. It's cute, isn't it? Rena sometimes browses through it at the magazine stand to keep up with the story. I saw it for the first time recently. Sakura is cool and so cheerful all the time! I like that girl who's always filming with the camcorder. <laughs> She's my favorite too, actually. I love that the Magical Girl costume changes are not from magic. It is just because her rich friends is like, and here, I've like, got a no, new one. you have to. Yeah, I, I made you a new one this week. You're wearing it. Recard Captor Sakura or watch it if you haven't. It, it, it's it's long, but it's it's good. It, it is it is very very enjoyable. It's not just popular with little girls. It's also surprisingly well received by older boys, isn't it? To think that Kei Chan was one of those. I felt like I had inadvertently blurted out something unnecessary and completely self-destructed, but that wasn't the main problem. You all know it, don't you? Why didn't you write it down? Sakura means Sakura Kinomoto. Sakura Tan. <laughs> Cardmaster Sakura is right. This the right answer. <laughs> Mion quietly put her hand on my shoulder. Kei-chan, now I am certain. Kei-chan, you are, to your very core, a geezer. Irrevo irrevocably so. Ugh, why is everyone looking at me with those eyes filled with pity? That's not true, Kei-chi-kun. Okay, let's do our best. Here's where the comeback begins. There's no coming back for Keiichi's on the geezer. Now give up quietly and accept your penalty. What's today's penalty game again? Dressing up as a maid, complete with hairband and garter belt, while carrying around the winner's stuff. No! All right, if you're real members of this club, show me you won't let anybody come back from this disadvantage. All right, all right, let's keep it rolling. Oh, the gender episode. <laughs> Hot tips for when you find yourself forced feminized. <laughs> Here's the main thing to keep in mind is that, and this is a hard thing to internalize, don't make it weird. <laughs> no, really, just don't act like it's weird. People won't give you a second look if you're not thinking it's weird. <laughs> Wow, Keiichi-kun seems happy. Why? How can this be? Is the reason Keiichi-kun is so depressed is because he's trans? <laughs> is that the reason? Everyone's trans! 
<laughs> you get a gender and you get a gender and you get a gender. Everybody gets a gender. Look under your school chairs. <laughs> God. Because, like, I, 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 I do want to actually seriously float that for a moment here. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm not committing to it. I do want to float it, though. That this has been all centered around Keiichi's experience, yeah. right? And we did establish... I think I made a pretty ironclad argument in the first <laughs> chapter that Keiichi is remarkably depressed. He is a remarkably sad kid. He yeah, he definitely acts extremely sad all the time and has characteristics of a depressed guy as we've seen in the past two episodes. Yes! <laughs> absolutely. We talked about this too. <laughs> Are you being a dick right now? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. So, I guess that could work if I didn't already have trans rena theory in place. That I, 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 you know. Oh, so we're invoking conservation of gender. <laughs> conservation of gender. Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. Anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha He's probably awoken to the joys of cross-dressing. Uh, Keichi-kun, your hairband is going to fall off. Let me fix that for you. Rena cheerfully adjusted the hairband that had been enshrined upon my head. How does it feel, Kei-chan? Have you awoken to the pleasures of wearing girls' clothing in front of actual girls? Be honest now, it's alright. We won't laugh. Like, seriously, I actually won't. I uh, what? That's remarkable- Ugh, you jerk! I'm gonna murder you! <laughs> Swinging Mion's bag about wildly, I chased her in circles for a bit. Today's loser was quickly decided to be me. When I had been assured of finishing last, Mion showed her true power. She began racking up points with an iron fist. In the end, we didn't even have to add up the score to know who was out on top. <laughs> After that, in the changing room, with much wailing and gnashing of teeth, pushing the boundaries of shame and brutality, I was instructed by Mion to how to put on everything from ribbons to underwear. Damn you, Mion, what did you mean knowing this will come in handy one day? <laughs> <laughs> how the hell, bloody hell, will a man knowing how to put on a garter belt be useful? Shh, Keichan, you're too loud. If you stay quiet, you might be able to pass this off as rehearsal for a play. She's right. If you cause a scene here, they'll find out that you're wearing women's clothing right down to the unmentionables. Oh, heaven forbid. <laughs> I do also think that we need to take a step back and remember when this game was originally released, right? Yeah. And like the assumptions people go into about gender um, would be markably different. Not markably different, but like they would be different. The uh, like the the general understanding of of um general ex transgender behavior is is markedly different than it was back in 2000 it's definitely something that's more in the public consciousness where people who are better or worse are better and worse um but like for i know when i was growing up pretty much everything i saw about like the uh, act of cross dressing was highly fetishized mm. right the idea of ta of like taking it seriously was not something that i as as a growing presumably cis kid would have had access to Th i'm not saying those people weren't there and weren't around i'm just saying that like that that wasn't in the public consciousness at least in, um yeah it just i don't know man things would have been different <laughs> Whoa! I shudder from head to toe, resisting the urge to scream. Actually, Kei-chan, you have really smooth skin. Are you often told that it's easy to apply makeup on you? Saying that, Mion gently rubbed my cheek. <laughs> what kind of a man gets praised for being easy to apply makeup on them? How does it feel wearing a maid's hairband? It really finishes off the look. The hairband is the best part of a maid outfit, after all. Man, me on your geezer coated. What do you do? <laughs> Pot meat kettle. <laughs> what do you mean it finishes off the look? Dumbass, stop teasing me. <laughs> Kei Chikun is embarrassed. Cute. Hey, Discord. Discord. You know what to do. 
<laughs> That's right. Men like things like garter belts, right? So how does it feel wearing one yourself? I don't really feel any- Hey, stop it! Don't flip it up! It's tight, isn't it? Can you feel it rub against your skin as you walk? Stop! Don't whisper such strange things in my ear! Oh, my miserable manhood sh suddenly shifted! Ah! You're turning red. You're turning red. Have you finally realized it? That's right. Right now, Kei-chan is exactly the type of maid that every healthy male wants. Stop it, Mio. Really, why do you have to whisper that right in my ear? Have you ever just wanted to hold a maid close to you? Kei-chan, you've currently become one with that maid. Don't you see? That's a distance far closer than mere touch can ever achieve. There, can't you hear that pulse? That breath? Mi-chan, that's... Uh... <laughs> oh, and we remember that they're all horny teenagers. <laughs> On the verge of overheating, a long red line flowed out of Rena's nose. Putting on makeup properly, making you wear a wig with the straight long hair you like so much. Kei-chan, I've made you into your ideal woman. And now, you're gonna walk around town with me. You'll surely monopolize the eyes of all the men. That would definitely make you feel really good, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if only you didn't have this big thing dangling between your legs, you'd be a real girl. <laughs> I... I don't know how to feel about Mion <laughs> having even the tone of the Force Fem thing down to a fucking T. <laughs> it is genuinely uncomfortable. <laughs> and you know the internet wasn't around, so I found some weird shit in the library. I was or gonna say, without the internet, how how are you? I got into my dad's DVD collection and learned some shit I shouldn't know. Oh my god. Do we need DVD collection? Sorry, they don't have DVDs. VHS would yeah. be the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. God. Ugh. Saying that, she tried to flip my skirt. Ah, this is definitely not the time. I can't let them see me with this male-centric problem. Crash thud. Before I realized it, Rihanna was caressing my head and rubbing me with her cheek. Keiichi kun, when you were fidgeting like that, you were su super cute. I I'm going to take you home. Peering through Rena's vice like embrace, I saw Mio laying spread eagle on her back. I see. This must be what Sadako and Rika chan feel like when they become Rena's prey. After that, it took quite some time to calm Rena down. Later, Kei chan. Today was super enjoyable. <laughs> you will rue this day, Mio. This disgrace shall be returned tenfold. I'll achieve an overwhelming victory, then condemn you to a public shaming. Return tenfold? What you gonna make me do, wear ten made outfits? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you can beat me. I look forward to seeing you try. Mion tossed me my clothes and looking in as good a mood as I've ever seen her, left. Okay. Now, now they've been released by Mion, I can't waste even a second running home. By the way, Rena isn't as good as Mi-chan, so if we happen to bump into anybody, I won't be able to follow up for you, okay? Soon after that, I went into a full-out dash. Pretty sure I was running the 100 meter in about six seconds there. Well then, kei kun see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you then. The fact that I didn't bump into anyone I knew was probably divine favor for my constant good behavior. It's been going my way today. At that moment, the front door opened as if someone was waiting for me. <laughs> Please tell me it's his mom with the camera. <laughs> I know if I was a, a parent looking to embarrass my kid, this is this is exactly what I would do. Oh, Keichi. So you're home. I was just about to go for a walk. Oh, it's, fa it's dad. I was dumbstruck by how slow my father was to react. A normal person would have realized the particular scene before them around. Oh, Keichi. Dad, this is, uh, you see that club I'm always talking about? The one with the penalty games we do there? I lost. My dad placed his hand on my shoulder. It's an oddly moist and uncomfortably warm hand. Who was Keishi's dad again? I don't think we've decided. No, 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 we've, we have. Keishi's dad had lines. Yeah, that's true. I'll take it. Okay. 
Keiji. Let's have a talk in my studio. We'll keep it a secret from mom, of course. No, Dead the Goo! There's a show I want to watch right now! Mion, you shall rue this day! His artistic flame raging like wildfire. My dad dragged me along and disappeared into the depths of the studio. Is that the kind of art your dad does? <laughs> Gotta pay the bills somehow. I mean, yeah, there's no shame in it. Who is this? This is gonna be his mom. Okay. Hey, Chi, are you home? Oh, you were in the bath. Is that makeup remover? Ugh, I... Uh, <laughs> more importantly, what's the matter? Sorry, I have a headache and don't think I can make dinner tonight. I am terribly sorry, but can you go out to eat with your dad? My mom is a go get him superwoman at work, but occasionally takes a toll on her health. What are you talking about? What work? Yeah, where does she work? I don't no, think No, she was told. explicitly a homemaker. What? Was she? I don't recall that. Hold on. I'm looking this up here. Okay, okay, okay. I wrote, appears to be a, a homemaker with no other income. It was never confirmed, but it definitely wasn't the case that she was going out all day, every day. That's... What? I mean, was it? They weren't at home for a lot of the time that we were at yeah. Keiichi's house, so... All right, I guess I read that wrong. My mom is a go get him superwoman at work, but it occasionally takes a toll on her health. So this kind of situation is hardly a rarity. Well, that's fine, but... Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you had it. Well, that's fine, but what'll you eat? If it's just for myself, I can probably find a way to scrounge something together. Take care. That's it. Hey, Keishi, we'll take the car, so hurry up, eh? Dad quickly got the car ready. He must be hungry. He really only, only moves so energetically when it's time to eat. We didn't really get a whole lot of his dad, actually. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. So where are we going to eat? Uh, I recently found a nice store. Let's go there, you and me. My dad usually only complains about things. For him to actually praise something is unexpected. I wonder what kind of place it is that he'd rank at three stars. As one who seeks the way of the gourmand, I, Keiichi Maibara, am genuinely intrigued. The headlights of the car cut through the early darkness of the Hinamizawa night, carving a straight path toward town. I was pondering where such a gem of a restaurant could be hidden away. It was, shockingly, the family restaurant right by the station. Dad, that gr <laughs> Is this the same one that Oishi took him to? <laughs> the one that we thought was basically Hooters? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, that great restaurant you were talking about was this? The words Angel Mort were written on a very family restaurant esque cartoonish logo. It had the air of a girl oriented all you can eat cake buffet rather than a proper restaurant. <coughs> oh, you never been inside, Keiichi? Come to think of it, I hadn't. There have been some times where I traveled to faraway towns to eat, but returning only as far as. Returning only as far as Okonomiya Station, there was really no reason to dine out. Home was just a stone's throw away, after all. I see. That was the reason I never noticed it before. Oh, the Toyota logo in the window. You see that? <laughs> oh, that's nice. We stopped in the... Wait. If we can read that, that means... That this has this been is reversed. Mirror that this photo was mirrored, right? Yep, it does. <laughs> Okay, just double checking. We stopped the car in the restaurant's parking lot. Seems like business is booming. Quite a few cars parked here. What really amazes me are the license plates. A lot of them it can't be from this area. Fukuyama, Nagoya, well that's fine. Shiba? Saitama? Opening up my mental geography book, I calculated how long it would have taken to get here via the major highways. Heh <laughs> Gage, it seems you finally realized how amazing this restaurant is. What's the meaning of this? How could so many people travel from so far away just to come to this restaurant? Following my dad, I climbed the steps and entered the building. The bell attached to the door clattered as we entered, and a waitress soon greeted us. After confirming our party size and whether we wanted a smoking or non-smoking seat, she guided us inside. Dad ordered two of the daily specials. It seemed that they were ready-made, so there wasn't much of a wait until our meals were brought to us. The taste was, no offense to Dad, not so different from your run-of-the-mill family restaurant. 
if you're just talking about the taste, it seems like normal family restaurant fare. Who gives a damn about the taste, KGC? Isn't it great? I see. It just may be the food here might be nothing more than average. The demographic of the customers was pretty much all young men. They call itself a family restaurant, but there wasn't a single table with a family. And yet it was packed. The parking lot was filled with cars from all corners of the country. I didn't come from far and wide to eat this completely mediocre food. There's only one other reason. Dad flagged down a nearby waitress. Excuse me, the dessert that comes with this meal still hasn't come yet. Oh, I... I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah? What's up? <laughs> What's up? That's why they need me on to help out, huh? That's why they need me on to help out specifically. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, why did we have Rena in that outfit for the punching game? Or if you've it... got the outfit laying around, you may as well draw all the characters in it. <laughs> yep, Rena's un Rena's uncle owns a cosplay store. Yep, this is Angel. Mion's Lord. uncle. Mion's uncle. You said Rena's uncle. Oh, sorry, Rena. Mion's uncle. My bad, my bad. Uh, there's a dessert that comes with daily combo A. I've been waiting for quite a while. Oh, it's... My apologies. I'll bring it right away. The apparently rookie waitress... Wait, what do you mean apparently ro rookie waitress rushed off flustered? Dead. Wait, why did you not re... Could it be this restaurant is... Aren't they great? The waitress is uniform, see what I mean. Bam! What are you doing, Keiichi? My own father never hit me. I'm your son! Listen, Keiichi, I've, only, I've never come here with impure intentions. That bell and a, t a, t a tirante and ex said, What are you saying? French! <laughs> that bell and a tirante and eccentric clothing. Quel effect! It is my artistic muse! I wanted you to feel that. Even you must have yearned for the stimulation, haven't you? Coming here alone, though, is a bit embarrassing. You understand me. That's why I dragged you here. Just blame me. Even if you must condemn me, I wanted you to know this feeling, Keiichi. I need... I need to take a leak. My father has always had a bad habit of trying to hide his embarrassment using incomprehensible nonsense as a smokescreen. I want to believe this weirdness won't be genetic. <laughs> Continuing his one-sided rambling, my father stood up and headed to the washroom. So you just had no reaction to Mion serving you? Okay. <laughs> just nothing. <laughs> nothing. I. With him gone, I was left alone in the booth. Finally, at this time, a feeling of embarrassment welled up inside me. Nothing to do but go beat red with shame. Which is from before returned her eyes alternating between the order slip and the table. Uh, um... Arriving at my seat, she hesitantly tried to say something. A more veteran waitress offered some advice over her shoulder. Let's calm down and say sorry for the wait. Um, terribly sorry for the wait. Right, right, just like that. Do your best. Whispering that into her ear, the veteran waitress left. This waitress must have just been hired. With an absolute lack of confidence, she moved hesitantly and maybe even somewhat perilously. Just watching her put, just watching her put me on edge. I silently watched as she placed the dessert on the table with an inexperienced hand. But it's just as Dad said. What incredible uniforms these are. They were like a bunny girl plus a maid plus some sort of frilly outfit. All in a perfect ratio. Most certainly rather dubiously charming kind of fashion. In any case, she in no way appeared to be a proper waitress. What should I do? I was catching glimpses of too many things that is... I didn't know where to look. Wearing something like that, walking around the restaurant. It's as bad as it can be for digestion. What do you mean this particular waitress? Acknowledge it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Ugh. Even though she was wearing the outfit, this particular waitress had no idea what to do either. This flustered state, without a doubt, should be attributed to the amount of bare skin showing rather than being new to the job. The waitress and I mutually avoided eye contact. What a platonically embarrassing feeling this is. Mutually avoided eye contact. I'm a customer, you know. It's alright to be more straightforward. Oh, my nose is starting to bleed. At that moment, our eyes just happened to meet. Both of us blinked, doubting who we were looking at. What? This is... Mion, is that you? Uh... 
On top of her hair being let down, she was so far removed from her usual confidence-filled attitude that I didn't realize it was her at all. It was Mion! Why was she here? You, why are you working at a place like this? Uh, uh, um... I, I'm helping out at my uncle's store. That's what it means to help out at her uncle's store, isn't it? Come to think about it, I did hear her talk about how her relatives have stores in town and that she sometimes works part-time to help them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. must be a lot of work. The nervous feeling I had dissipated in an instant. Knowing that this was me own, there was no reason to feel that way. Well, actually, my animal instinct tells me the power balance between me own and myself has been turned upside down. That's right, I'm a customer. My position is superior to hers. The humiliation from today's penalty game was cutting through the recesses of my mind. There really is a god. For him to grant me this opportunity for revenge. Noticing the flames of vengeance burning in my eyes, Mion took a step back. But seeing it like this, this type of clothing suits you very nicely, doesn't it? It's embarrassing, so don't look so much. I confirmed my preemptive strike was a clean hit. There's no mistaking that Mion is currently defenseless. While confirming my attack was successful, I simultaneously lined up the combo. Keiichi? <laughs> Keiichi, my dude. Mion, you have pretty big breasts, you know. It seems like they're ready to spill out even right now. All the customers are definitely looking at you. Don't say that. Is this... Is this Mion? Don't play coy with me. I know that you enjoy drawing all the male attention with that embarrassing getup. I mean, if you didn't, there's no way you dress up like that, right? It's... It's not like I'm doing this because I like to. Is this all right, Keiichi Maibara? Aren't you taking this a little too far? Even if it's payback for that humiliation during the day, isn't this too much? Hey, you know what? Shut up, Logic. To payback me on tenfold is a chance you'll hardly ever get. Why? Keiichi. Hey, you're just being rude to customer service. <laughs> yeah. You don't do that ever, all right? That, that dick move. Dick move. Were you this kind of get up, your brother must be disappointed in you. <sighs> that part where you can almost see something is the best. Come closer. Uh, please stop. You still lack the spirit of service towards your customers, you know. Please forgive me. Oh, I want to take you home. No, not that. Entering a version of Venice cute mode. Blood spewing from my nose like a waterfall. I was going until I had no regrets. I was going to complete this verbal humiliation play. I mean, revenge for today's events. I'll spare you the rest for today. Hell. Seems Mion's neural circuits had completely shorted from the embarrassment. I might have teased her a little bit too much, or so I thought, but such a meek Mion is something you hardly ever see, so this was good for now. Leaving aside what exactly was good. I never knew. To think the high mighty Mion would have a hard time being a waitress. Um, that's raw. She's not Mion! She's not Mion! Who the fuck are you? Why does Mion have a twin, Mion? <laughs> Mion who's not Mion. What the fuck? I mean... Does she? Conservation of twins? We didn't hear anything about a twin last arc. No, we didn't, but we did hear about a Mion who wasn't a Mion. <laughs> and I did float twins as one of the possibilities for it. And I said I wasn't going to invoke it until I had reason to. And you this did. is some damn reason to start invoking it. All right. Ah, <sighs> twin Mion theory. <laughs> Two Mions, maybe more. <laughs> Get a baker's dozen of these little bitches lined up. I told you that I told you they come in six packs nowadays. They do. Get a six pack. <laughs> this is such a surprising sight of you. I want to show this to the Mion from this afternoon. She want to show Rena and the others. Rena will definitely flip out with joy. Think she'll say she wants to work here? That's wrong. Can never imagine in my wildest dreams that such a cute outfit would suit you, Mion. I I'm saying that's wrong. While turning bright red, Mion finally spit out the words that were lodged in her throat. What do you mean that's wrong? I'm not Mion. Oh, okay, so I don't even get points for figuring that out. Fuck me. What? I was taken back at Mion's confusing words. You're not Mion, then who are you? You're Mion Sonazaki, right? Um, I'm sorry, I should have said this earlier, but my name is, uh, some completely different name, like, uh, Shion Sonazaki.
You're trying to throw me off the trail here. It's not working. <laughs> You're trying to make it seem like she's just covering up. But no, 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 no. I'm buying this. Mion's my older sister. Mion's your older s- That makes this way worse, you realize. That makes this so much worse. <laughs> You're like, what, 14? <laughs> God. My eyes unconsciously widen with surprise from this brazenly crazy talk. Mion, probably thinking there was no way such a far-fetched excuse would work, turned bright red while fidgeting nervously. Shion, huh? Shion Sonazaki. I yes, I'm often mistaken for my sister. Oh, the way we met, you had the kind of response that you wouldn't make if we were meeting for the first time. That's because my sister is always talking about you, so I knew who you were. A little bit of cringeworthy excuse, that is. But when I looked at Mion's eyes, which begged me to believe her, the urge to tease completely subsided. To us, Mion had to be a leader who was normally overflowing with confidence, a guiding force. If I were to lash out at that, Mion, I would have ruined something I shouldn't have. It was something I would never wish for. So I understand. This foolishness here is something very different from the everyday Mion. That's why she is... Shio. I don't buy it, game. <laughs> I don't buy it. I'm not, I'm not buying this for a second. I think you're trying to, I think you're trying to bamboozle us here. Twin, not twin, older sister Mion. Well, I guess that doesn't preclude twins, but they're identical enough to share a sprite, okay? Okay, but consider. No. But consider. <laughs> Mion, Shion, and Threon. <gasps> Maybe more. <laughs> The rare three own. Oh my <laughs> god, there's so many of them. God, what does twin me own even? Well, yeah, what does that what does that mean about stuff, huh? I don't know. I don't know that it changes it. But I guess then I have to reappraise the last arc and be like, was at any point was any of that she own? But if it was, what does it get us? We don't know much about her. And why is why doesn't Keichi know that Shion exists? Why is why does Mion have this secret sister that no that's one... clearly not secret, working in public, everybody knows about, but somehow also nobody does? That's weird, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I see. So maybe it really is that this has to be Shion, her per. No, 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 I'm, 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 no, 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 no. I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you derail me here. Twin Just so you me. know, if I do succeed in convincing you of this, I will swap and argue for the other. No, I. You cannot take me as a signpost. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Mion's had a rough day. She deserves to be someone else for a bit. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's it. You're done arguing. All right. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'm sorry. Oh, no. As long as you understand. My sister has a lot of enemies, you see. I mean, she has a record. <laughs> <laughs> well, now she at least she's self-aware of that fact. Now is she? Was I unintentionally left aloud? Mion. No. Shion laughed with me. Shion, is this your first time being waitress? Doesn't seem like you're used to it. Actually, today is, uh, Keichan is my first customer. See, she's talking about Keichan like he's not someone she knows personally. A little flustered after saying that, she quickly asked if it was okay for her to refer to me as the same way her sister did. Seeing that blatant quirk was so cute, I couldn't stop laughing. No! You can't stop me. <laughs> so you said you worked part-time at your uncle's store before, huh? I thought you would have been more used to it. Oh, I have other relatives that run shops. That's why this is the first time I'm helping the uncle that owns this place. Man, the Sonozaki family is creepy as hell. <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever said that phrase out loud, but yeah, yeah. I see, it makes sense. Anyone would be tentative doing a job they weren't used to. Also, you're a child and you're getting paid to have people all go... I don't even want to go there right now. Does Mio ever help out here? Oh, my sister is, you see, she's not very good with these cutesy things. Yeah, because Mion is too brash and angry and would have rather been born a boy. Trans Mion arc, but she hasn't transitioned yet. <laughs> I know what she's trying to say. That's right. Mion is more suited for cool things. I think having you help out here was the right choice. Huh? Shion asked, probably thinking she misheard me. Uniform, it would never suit someone like Mion, but for Shion, I think it works. 
Huh, you mean that, uh... She owned like Rena Opta does, spaced out and turned bright red. What does that mean exactly? At least for this moment, it felt like the Shion character actually existed, because there was no way the Mion I knew had this side to her. That moment, we realized there were more veteran waitresses waving at us from across the room. Sonozaki-san, you can take your break now. No, oh, okay. Mion finally returned to her senses. It seemed as if it was time for her to take a break. Uh, well then, I'll take my leave. It was fun talking to the infamous Kei-chan. Sorry for mistaking you for Mion and teasing you. Please tell Mion I will have my revenge one day. Ha, ah, that thing where you were forced to dress as a maid and walk around outside, right? That devilish laugh and smile. I, it was exactly the same as the one I knew. That's right. Tell her I will return the favor for the total humiliation I have suffered. <laughs> but more importantly, I'm going to complain to my sister about the teasing I had to endure today. My sister will have my revenge during your club activities. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. I'll get her before she gets me. Mion laughed with a warm smile devoid of any remaining nervousness and disappeared into the back. No! <laughs> no! You will not trick me with this. There are two Mions. Count them. One, two. And they... had no narrative purpose until this exact moment? I don't... What if, what if that's the divergence point from this arc? That in the previous arc, there was one Mion in chapter one. In chapter two, there's two Mions. Wait, so in, in chapter, chapter three, three, there's three, there's three Mions. Oh, that's it. Maybe more. <laughs> it felt like I had a very valuable experience today. That's right. For now, I know the high and mighty Mion has a weak point to panic and get embarrassed about. But of all things, for her to say she has a twin sister. But he's saying twin now. Mm -hmm. Okay, was that meant to be implied by older sister? I, they there's, sure an old, there's an older and younger twin. Yeah, well, yes, but like twin is more specific than that. Yeah. Sorry, that that was my point. Is that twin is more specific than older or younger? I feel like it was implied that it was implied there because like you don't just mistake someone's. Yeah, it was implied, but it's R O seven. Yeah, that's implication true. Implication is <laughs> implication is a dangerous thing. Okay, <laughs> that's true. I thought maybe I should ask Rena tomorrow if she really has a sister, but maybe it's better I don't ask. It's a bit mean-spirited, after all. And plus, if I did ask, then we'd have to get explicit confirmation of this, and rather than just leaving it ambiguous up in the air like this so you can kind of feel all weird and awkward about it. <laughs> I've decided the person I met here today was Shio, the younger twin sister. So I'll refrain from doing anything that would deny that. Not we actually made a promise or anything, but... That little exchange gave birth to a new rule between me and Mion. <sighs> Accidentally doing the right thing. <laughs> Someone tapped me on the shoulder. It was my dad. It was a long trip to the washroom. Probably came up with a new idea for an art piece when he was sitting on the can. Did his dad... Never mind. Gage, okay, are you ready? Let's go home. Settling the bill, my father had his customer card... St Oishi goes... Why did Oishi take him here? Yeah, to think. To think. It was pure chance that he happens no, to not... No, it wasn't pure chance. I, I, I do no, not believe... No, 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 no. Let me finish my sentence. It was pure chance that they happened to be here on a day that there wasn't a recognizable Sonozaki waiting the table. Right. This establishes that that could have just been what happened then. And, like, that would have been a very different first arc. Yeah! Yeah, it would have. I wonder if he was trying to do that on purpose. <laughs> I wonder if Oishi was trying to, like, trying to see if he could bait that out. Like, run into Shion here and then use that as a way to be like, hey, you don't know what you think you know about your friends. And yet, and yet, despite filling in Keichi on all kinds of information about the group, he never mentioned anything about a twin sister. No, he You'd didn't. You'd think it'd did come up. It didn't come up. Then again, a lot of things didn't come up. <laughs> I, I, I've already said that I think Oishi is purposely, like, he's being very intentional about what information he gives Keiji. So, anyway, it was pretty much filled. Damn, Dad, you're quite the regular customer. Was that new waitress just now? Someone you know, Keiji. Oh, you were watching from the shadows. 
dad has the oddest sense of tact sometimes. Someone from school, huh? From Hinamizawa? Oh yeah, she's the little sister of my friend Mion. School isn't in Hinamizawa. She must go to one in town. Never seen her at my school. Huh. Not all the kids in Hinamizawa go to the same school now, huh? Only about half. Other half go all the way into town on their bikes. In this way, the feeling I was really talking to Shion came to me. What should I say to Mion tomorrow? I met your little sister? Something like that? Even with Mion being like that, us having a secret between the two of us made me both a little happy and a little embarrassed. Watch me never bring it up, and then we'll never get explicit confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm on to you, game. New to... <laughs> <laughs> It's right. time. <laughs> the, t the, the tip we just caught was called double the fun. Thanks. Thanks, Steam. Stay classy. Is there really a Shio? Huh? Oh, Mian-san's family. Oh, uh, yeah. More broadly. I was just wondering if she had any brothers or anything. I was actually wondering whether her twin younger twin sister named Shio really existed. And my curiosity got the better of me, so I quietly asked Sato go about it. Uh, I wonder. She might, she might not. She wasn't being very clear about it. Had Sadako never gone over to Mion's house to play? Uh, from your reaction, I guess you've never met any, but... Yeah, I've never seen any of her relatives except for her grandmother. Her grandmother. Do we have a, anything known about Mion's grandmother yet? I you feel see. like she was involved. She was in one of the announcements about the Watanagashi Festival or As something. As a living grandmother in some position of power. It's unclear what uh, it's it's unclear what what that is, but she has a grandmother. Uh, th that was the context in which it was brought up that, that her grandmother wields some kind of mm. power. As far as I could tell, there were already dark clouds over the Shion is real theory. Rika would know more than I. Yeah, you do well to ask her. Sadako waved to Rika Chan, who was basking in the sunlight. <laughs> Just Rika John just cheap posing in the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> I have to photosynthesize. Hey, Rika, do you know anything about Mion Sun's family? Rika John was surprised at the sun question. Me has a big family, so I don't really know everything about them. Not many, huh? For example, uh, huh? Someone named Shio in Sonozaki? Might have heard wrong, so she might not actually exist, but. You mean she? Shion exists. Huh? That was unexpected. So she was real? Huh? Her names are quite similar, you know. I could get tongue tied trying to tell the difference. I've heard she's Mi's younger twin sister, but I haven't met her too many times. See, the double blind here is that they're expecting you to be like, oh, it, it, Shion is a persona of Mion. But no, they're setting that seed for a different character because trans rena theory. <laughs> Rika-chan knew a about, bit about her as well, but hadn't seen her much. I think I met her once at a funeral a few years ago. She's not in this class, so maybe she goes to school in Okonomiya? Oh, no, that was, that was, that was Keiji. Maybe she goes to school in Okonomiya? Yeah, she may live there, too. Mion san herself lives apart from her family with her grandmother, after all. So Mion lives with her grandmother, apart from the rest of her family. Ooh, that's a juicy detail. There is so much to infer from that. Why does yeah. she live separately from her family? Hmm. What happened? Oh, oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Okay, that's the real, that's the real good piece of information here, right here. That that Mion lives with her grandmother. That's the juicy bit. <laughs> she didn't live with her parents. That's a bit odd. Was there something between them? It's a very complicated family. Oh yeah, you don't say. She seems to have many relatives. There are doubtless many different circumstances. For now, I learned that she had a younger twin sister named Shion, but her family structure, including her own position, still seemed very mysterious. Oh, what are the three of you talking about? Let this old man in on it. Oh, Mion-san, you've come at a good time. Might it be true that you have a younger twin sister? Oh, Mion, crap. Uh... A younger sister? Uh, well, uh, 
Yeah, I do. Mion grew uncharacteristically red in the face, at a loss. I think she's looking at me. Oh my! I have no idea! What kind of person might she be? I would very much like to meet her sometime! You shouldn't bother. She She's not cute at all. She's really conceited. Uh, besides, other than uh, talking to her on the phone once in a while, I haven't seen her for a long time either. Why did it look like she was in such a panic? It's like she was declaring that the Shion from yesterday was actually a fake. Anyway, this is pretty funny, so I let it go for a little while longer. <laughs> Another Mion under the name of Shion. Will I be able to see her if I go to that restaurant again? I had a mysterious feeling, as if I'd made a new friend, despite knowing that she and Mion were the same person. Alright, hear me out. What if that goes back to how the things originally started with the foreman? The altercation wasn't between Mion and the foreman, it was between Shion and the foreman. And then Mion stepped in to defend her sister, and in doing so, wound up killing the foreman. That's... I don't know. It makes sense in my head. That's another one of those, that's the way I would write it theories. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. But, but like, it makes sense. It could happen. Because Mion wouldn't let herself get pushed around like that, I don't feel. Even, like, you know, she has a criminal record. <laughs> she'd, so, she'd be, she'd be in the maid outfit, but she'd still have the airsoft gun on her. Right, right. And no, she no, would she'd not have, like, be a afraid stiletto. to use it. That's what, that's what the uh, garters are for. That's <laughs> where you keep the knives. Everyone knows this is painfully common knowledge in the mating world. In the what? The mating world. Okay. Sorry, D's and T's. I thought it was a funny joke. <laughs> An introduction to Angel Mort. Angel of Death? Right? Yeah, that's, that seems to be the name of the restaurant. Pretty fucking weird name for a family restaurant. The Angel of Death. Reprinted from the Victorious War Photographer's Guide, April issue, Complete Conquest Analysis, Family Restaurant Chapter. Now at last we come to the blazing hot third day. To Angel Moore, to super famous restaurant, and the envy of all enthusiasts, despite being located in the remote Shishibone city of Redacted Prefecture. Why exactly do the most famous stores avoid the centers of human habitation? It can only be because it is a trial given to us by the god of war photography. War photography? Is this a fucking weird otaku thing <laughs> is that what this is some weird otaku invasive bullshit it's famous locally for having the best desserts in town but that matters not to us is it famous locally for that is it... you want expensive desserts you could just go to a censored place or something we aim not for sweet treats but for sweet uniforms the fragrant aroma of sweat wafts from these obligatory waitress uniforms creating no less than a public torture device how can their bashful flirtation be on par with all the other restaurants with cute uniforms all across the country? War photography hunter away! The smoking areas are the real superposition. Oh, the smoking areas are the real superpositions. Aim for your chance at them with the tenacity of an octopus. This is... This is gross, right? Yeah, this, this is, is quite gross. gross. This is gross, okay. Alright, I'm gonna switch to... <sighs> Yesterday I failed to get seating. Hey, I'll aim for the ultimate golden seat, the corner box of the smoking area. <sighs> Otaku everywhere are overwhelmingly non-smokers, so I'll procure a spot in the smoking area and set up camp there. <sighs> there. As expected of Ryu the hunter, he's saying his victory was decided the moment he chose his seat. In actuality, Ryu used the same tactic during the grand opening of Akihabara's Redacted and succeeded in getting the best seats in the house. Back then, he also went early in the afternoon, just after the lunch rush. And not only did he find his target seat empty, he also obtained it with ease. By utilizing tricks such as ordering a little at a time, he effectively increased the number of opportunities for engagement, carefully scoping out his chance for a picture. But as if cursed by that from the day before, the god of war photography did not smile upon him. After suffering successive firm defeats until 3 p.m., he finds no chances coming his way. And after 4 p.m., a man began to take his orders. It looks as though he has been seen through. It's the rule of a hunter to withdraw with grace once noted. I choose to believe, though, that it's it's 
Mion's uncle showing up, the man taking the order, but that he does still wear the uniform because yes, it's all about professionalism. All about professionalism. You gotta have commitments. Yep. <laughs> I am was perfect, but the 14 I used at 2.30 seemed to have backfired. Maybe they were wary since I sat in the booth and left my bag on the floor. There's the hidden camera in the bag trick is really old hat. There were two digit EGs involved for sticking here half the day. I'd have a kind counter rate. I'm mortified. <laughs> Even so, he got a few pieces of gold, as to be expected from the hunter. He attained this nice angle, despite lamenting his failure. He is an artisan. Is this the kind of shit Keiichi's dad does? No, no, that's that's a shit. That that's a leap too far. More surprising, though, is that this uniform conquest across Japan has yielded not a single arrested person, but an amazing start for the hunter who brags about having been up to approximately half the total prefecture police stations in the country. That thing the day before. The day before a hunter took on the shrine made in cuisine. Redacted in Nagoya. This hunter spirit showed through too zealously. And as soon as he entered the store, he was seen through, placed in a booth, and waited on by the head priest. Despite waiting half a day, the much-anticipated tried maidens appeared only at the time of his first order. A seriously huge blunder for a hunter. Now then, here we have the giveaway of the hunter's original photographs that always receive such high praise. We'll present one passionate reader with all three all-you-can-eat low-angle pictures of the Angel Mort uniforms chosen by the hunter himself. With such blazing hot pictures, you too can become a war photographer one day. So that sucked. That was awful. I mean, I get it. It's meant to be awful. Yeah. But like, 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 still, let me make it fun. <laughs> uh, what a good time. Oh, her face lights up when you... <laughs> and they just click on me. Bit. Click on me. Click on me. Do it. Click on me. Yeah. Ah! All right. Is that a sewed? That's 90 minutes. That's a sewed. Yeah. I hope you're all enjoying this. I know I am. Of me and both Mion's. Consider, consider though, we've had the one Mion theory. We've had the two Mion's theory. Okay, and the three own theory. Yeah. Yep. What if we split the difference and go for one and a half Mion's theory? Uh, no, I was going to say, what if we, what if it's not linear? <laughs> what if it's exponential? <laughs> oh no. Four Mion's. <laughs> Or <laughs> by the time we get to nine, the entire cast is me own now. <laughs> oh, anyway, we'll see you all next time, everyone. Peace. Smash, smash, smash that like, comment and subscribe, comment and subscribe.